Good morning. It's Saturday on the eve of the beginning of Holy Week. I had hoped that things would have passed so that we could celebrate all of Holy Week together, but that's not possible this year. So I wanted to make you aware of a few things that we're going to do by live stream remotely so that you can plan accordingly. Tomorrow is what we would typically celebrate as Palm Passion Sunday, and that will be at our usual live stream worship time at 11 a.m. Thursday is Maundy Thursday, and that service will be at 7 o'clock, and I will be streaming it with David Nickel, my husband, who is also the pastor of the Hamburg United Methodist Church. And then on Friday, we will actually celebrate the traditional time for Good Friday at noon, but this time it'll be live streamed from the Hamburg United Methodist Church. There will be links available for all of these things. We'll send them out by email. We'll send out Facebook notifications. Another addition that we have managed to accomplish this week is to post a direct link to all live streamed videos from Facebook to our website. So if you just click the one link, it'll take you immediately to the video that is being live streamed. I know that as this uh, time of self-isolation continues that we are experiencing many different kind, kinds of difficulties and uh, learning how to do new things. I know as uh, the weeks have continued that we have gotten a little bit better here at the homeschooling portion of things sometimes. And uh, some of the other things that we're doing are making sure that we spend time with our children without actually watching a screen which is a very easy habit to fall into right now. I want to encourage any of you who are able to do this to join with us each day at noon. We begin by saying the Lord's Prayer, and then if we have anything else to pray for, we continue in that prayer. I believe that our call as the church at, in this time is to pray without ceasing. That means all the time, any moment that you have, any time you have a thought of God, to ask God for his intervention into this world now to bring an end to this pandemic, to bring a solution to, uh, to a, a vaccine or any number of things, but we pray. And we pray as the church who believes that we serve a God who listens to us and who responds to us. So continue to pray, continue to be in communication with each other, and continue to love the Lord with all that you are and to serve him and your neighbor. Amen.